What is your theory? Well, uh, it is by now rather more than a theory. Uh, Ten or eleven years ago, I stated to various scientists that the moon is not a piece of rock, but it is a plasma, a plasma phenomenon, a cosmic plasma. Uh, He's got about two wheels on the ground. He's a big rooster tail out of all four wheels. And as he turns, he skids. The back end breaks loose just like on snow. What will be the result if you are proved to be correct in your theories? The result will be uh, profound and decisive because it will give proof that a complete re reinvestigation of the laws of nature is necessary. Because if the moon is a plasma, no man will ever land on it. The soft landing attempts will all fail. That means that the mass of the moon is less, far less, than is currently assumed. It's in, in terms of invading someone else's domain, I didn't find the moon hostile or I found it very majestically beautiful. Bland in color, but majestically beautiful. I like to skip along, but me, boy, skip. Or whatever you call it. I can't get my left leg in front of me. The moon is a plasma, then all gravitational theories are out and the new concept of the cosmos and of its laws has to be evolved. Aren't you big? Hey, the deck is running. Man, I'll tell you, Andy's never seen a driver like this. That means that if it is proof that the moon is a plasma, then all gravitational theories are out. And the, new the craters and starts bouncing is when he gets his rooster tail. He makes sharp turns. Hey, that was a good stop. Those wheels just locked. Mark off. has to be evolved. Aren't you being a bit adventurous though because uh, you know that we're going to be able to test out your theories on the moon fairly soon? Well not anymore. Eleven years ago uh, of course uh, it was rather taking a risk. I was considered a lunatic of course but by now the evidence, accumulated evidence, is already so much in my favour. If that system failed, the astronauts would not return alive. This mission would have its share of perils, not unlike those faced by a long line of past explorers whose courage and restless spirit propelled them into the unknown.
flowing, never slowing. Yip and I had been together for a while when we came across that old abandoned space station. Yip was Americans and Russians are thinking of landing men on it. Oh, well, that will never happen. Not on the moon. On my Ben, however, was backed by years of technology development, test flights, astronaut training, and the largest support team back home that any mission ever had. But I gotta take it easy and watch what I'm doing. Boy, you'll never believe it. That's what I... Boy, you'll never believe it. That's what I see sitting on the side of the crater. The old surveyor, huh? The old surveyor, yes, sir. <laughs> One was a series of mounds out in the open perhaps made up of material ejected from the craters upon it. Two and a half hours into the moonwalk, the astronauts flipped their wrist-mounted checklists to their next task. They opened an unlikely page, placed there by the Apollo 12 backup crew. And an unlikely page, placed there by the Apollo 12 backup crew. among the craters, making observations and picking up rocks. That was part of a major, unheralded scientific quest of the Apollo program. To find clues to where the moon came from. And finally, I'd just like to say, all by myself, the song comes to mind. Here's an astronaut by himself in quite a space here. Now, when we look at the uh, command module, well, things just don't add up here, do they? <laughs> That's just a little bucket. Yet, uh, in that video, he looks like he's just got quite a bit of space to himself, and there's two other guys there, plus spacesuits. Yeah, look, looking back this way, and it's not the right shape either. It's sort of a long tubular shape. Yet, you know, in that uh, TP configuration there, that you see, it just wouldn't look like that. And yes, it's something that hasn't been noticed enough. That is for certain. And not to mention our friend shaving here. Imagine the little bristles flying off into the grabby free environment. Hmm, seems a bit endless down the end there. But even in this uh, wider and semi more spacious environment than that uh, other module would ever give you. It still would be a problem with P and Poo, wouldn't it now?
<laughs> just trying to get into your spacesuit. <laughs> Looks like a real uh, navigational problem. And where are the spacesuits here? Where are the helmets right now? Over the world now that uh, the moon seems to be of a quite different nature of what was assumed. But and the, the Americans and Russians are thinking of landing men on it. Oh, well, that will never happen.